Live from Michelin on Main, it's your Carolina with Jack and Kimberly. Well, a gracious good uh, Monday morning. It is Labor Day, and uh, boy, the roads are clear. Not a whole lot of folks out there yeah, that's laboring. That's because everybody is sitting around, you know, enjoying a little yeah. coffee this morning. <laughs> sipping, uh, sipping the coffee, and of course, uh, if you've got the day off, be glad. And for those of you that don't have jobs that would like to be working today, let's hope right. the next year brings better I fortune have... to you. Hey, the name of the new movie is More Than Diamonds, locally produced and uh, starring local actors and actresses. And yeah. it's going to be debuting real soon. We're going to tell you about this new movie in just a minute. We've got a locally produced, big time, full length movie. You're going to see it debut here in just a few days here in the upstate. We've got some sneak peek of the video for you. Oh, Stay nice. with us. The producer. Welcome back on this uh, Labor Day and a special hello to all you pregnant women out there on this Labor Day. Uh, <laughs> Get it? That's get not it? really get what it? it's about. Get it? No, but we dedicate the show to you, too. We'll talk about that during the break, Jack. More Than Diamonds, a locally produced uh, full-length movie, and we're tickled to death to have our producer with us, Mr. Grant Skellinger. Grant, how are you? Very well. Thank yeah. you. Well, they've both got beards. You know those artistic type. They have beards. Associate producer Mark Cochran. Hello, Mark. Uh, hello. How are you? How long was this movie in the making? We're kind of pleased and proud of this. Well, it depends on what you mean by the making. The story idea started in 2007. Right. Uh, writing started in early 2009. Production started in June of 2009. Wow. wow. Post-production started in February. Yeah, you don't just do a movie overnight. 2010. No, it wasn't a weekend deal. Right. So where did where did the plot come from? The idea is this your brain, Charlie? Are you inspired by real life stuff? Um, actually. No, not real life stuff necessarily in terms of plot. There's some thematic stuff that may be real life. Uh, but the plot came from a dinner conversation with my family. I was talking to my wife and children. What would be a neat idea for a movie? And so we came up with a story about a widow who had some things stolen and some kids who helped get it back and an uncle who was a little, a little zany. And yeah. um, that became sort of the seed idea for what would eventually become More Than Diamonds. And, mm -hmm. and it grew from there. So you, you wrote the screenplay. I, I did. All right. I did. Well, now, uh, again, it, it's full length. I mean, this is a, a big time deal. Now. And, and we're going to debut this when? September, it's a red September 9th, Thursday. Thursday night. All right. 7 o'clock at Camelot Theater here in Greenville. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, and, and they've been nice enough, Kimberly, I don't know if you know this, but they've given us two tickets to the red carpet right. event to give away. So let's just take our first email on that one. That, that will like work. Now, which email are they? They're, you're sending that to the Jay? First, Jay Roper? Well, no, no to no? yourcarolina.tv okay. and ask for the two tickets for the Thursday night red card. All right, so you're looking for the contest section up in the right. Yeah. Don't send them to us individually, right. the contest section. Uh, tell us this. We don't. We think about movies that come into town. George Clooney came to visit. That's right. They did radio here. We don't often think of movies being created and fully blooming here in the area. How frequently does this happen? How is our film industry? <clears throat> The film industry is growing in the area, <clears throat> but uh, what you mentioned is, is interesting that there are two phenomena that we see. There's actually a lot of film work being done in the area. Uh, you may or may not have heard of the Upstate uh, Film Community, yeah. which is a group that we're members of, <clears throat> but there's a whole lot of work being done by members of that and other people in the area, but a lot of it's shorts. So you have five minute, right. 10 minute, 15, 20 minute shorts. This is not short. Uh, correct, this is feature length. And then on the flip side, as you mentioned, you have Clooney or Stallone or those guys coming to town. Who are interested in our area. Correct. Well, I just watched Patriot. That was, uh, you know, Doug down Gibson. in Charleston. Right. Right. It's a now, good place to do. Where do you, I know a lot of people will do shorts and they'll kind of shop them around hoping that turns into something else. When you do a full length, I mean, are you still shopping it around, hoping that it... Uh, we've actually had a couple of distributors get in touch with us who want to take a look at it. There you go. Um, right now, I've been very focused on getting everything finished and getting through right. our opening run here. Local actors? Yes. All right. But the big uh, night for the general public is Friday night. Uh, that's it's correct that our theatrical run begins Friday. Okay. The red carpet premiere is open to the public. You can get tickets at our website, uh, www.morethandiamondsmovie.com. Uh, so we'd love to have the 
the uh, public come out for the right. premiere as well. And we'll make sure we have that link on the video when people uh, sure. go, Good. go to see it. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, you stopping in. And yeah, that is at the Camelot. That's yes. right. Here in Greenville. Yes. All right. That's right. Well, thank you, guys. Good luck with that. <coughs> Coming up, speaking of actors, we've got another one in the house right over here, Michael Genevieve. He's all oh, real stuff. Look at him. He got a coat on, a tie. No tie. Got rid of the tie. He's the Abbeville Opera House, and there's a new production coming up that we want to tell you all about. Especially you Baptists, you won't know about it. Ha, ha, ha.